Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's video I'll be reviewing this uh, Slim Slim Jim? Now wait a minute. Wait, this can't be right. Hang on, hang on, I gotta read over my notes again. Just uh, stay put for a while, I'll be right back. Ah yes, now this is what I was gonna review. The SOG Slim Jim. I'm sure you guys guessed that from the title already. Now this knife, I've seen this a while, and um, I decided to buy it. I'd seen it a few times uh, in person, just like this, in uh, you know, in the packaging in the store. But I never had a chance to really hold it and kind of you know get a feel for it. So I decided to do a bit of a gamble, and I ordered it online. And uh, today we're going to take a look at it. Uh, it. Comes in a box like this. Let me see if I can get it fully in frame. It's, it's a nice box, actually. Really good, uh, you know, nice thing to be gifted to someone. Uh, in the front, it says here, folding knife, slim jim, uh, ultra, ultra thin design, uh, SOG assisted technology, and lifetime warranty. And it's suggested that this knife is a everyday carry, you know, a EDC blade. Uh, on the side here we got a gentleman pushing an oil drum. I'm assuming he's doing some sort of, well, oh, that's that's the everyday. But they're saying you can just carry this around at your work, if your work allows, of course. And on this side we have SOG, which is designed, you know, it says designed by SOG, Seattle, Washington. SOG, I believe, stands for Special Operations Group. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think that's what it means. You know, they make knives and tools. Uh, there we go, SOG Slim Jim, the length. It has the fast uh, assisted technology. Uh, only 2.4 ounces and uh, lifetime warranty. And the back we have, you know, again, Slim Jim, satin polished, uh, SOG, shape, uh, SOG sharp blade, fast opening technology. Uh, this is what I really like, uh, low carrying um, pocket clip that's reversible, that is that is a big plus for me, uh, and we're going to check that out right now, as you can see I haven't even cracked open into this, uh, ultra thin one piece stainless steel handle, we'll talk about that too, the handle is stainless, the blade is stainless, well what can go wrong, right? <laughs> and down here we have uh, thinner than two quarters, slim jib is perfect for uh, discreet everyday carry, while the fast opening and sturdy design make it an all-around ver all versatile folding knife. Uh, blade type folding, length of the blade is that, uh, weight is this, overall length is this, the actual, the blade steel is AUS 8, um, which I think is pretty good. And this is interesting that the handle is made out of um, it's made out of uh, 420 steel, which some of the lower, like budget and the uh, entry level or budget knives, actual blades are made of this, and they used it on their handle. So that's that's pretty cool. Everyday carry, field tested, yada yada yada. Enough talking. Let's get into that. And what I what what better knife to open this guy up than this knife? the SOG Twitch. Let me just open this up and we get it out of the packaging. I'm gonna, I guess I'm being a bit more gentle than I need to be. This, this box is going to end up in the trash anyway. I don't know why I'm trying to open it up you know, in a gingerly fashion. But out it comes. Nothing in the box other than the knife. No, no instruction leaflets, which is not necessary really. Knife here, tip protector. Let's throw that away. No one needs that. Hmm, pretty cool. Hang on, I got, I gotta. Oh, they they coated this knife in a nice uh, coating of oil. I can, I, I smell that. But let's see this uh, fast opening dealio. Now it does have a safety, as you can see. Closes up like that. Come on. With all that oil, I'd expect this thing to fly open. Well, all the tape right there. Now, when I shot this this unboxing, um, this was probably 
uh, maybe a month ago and I was having a really difficult time opening up the knife uh, you know with the with the assisted opening and the rest of this review well, from the unboxing uh, I did not particularly like the knife but I kept kept it of course and I used it and over that time my opinion of it changed a little bit so the the rest of this review the continuation of it is what I have to say uh, after you know having used the knife for about a month so let's roll that footage now <laughs> in that month of usage I found out a few things about this knife uh, and the way best to open this thing um, I found out there's that there's a bit of a technique to opening this thing smoothly and there's a bit of a breaking in period as well now the uh, the technique um, is rather simple you just use your middle finger and your uh, ring finger and you apply pressure to the clip right here and you uh, by doing that you press this lock bar into your palm like so now with your index finger you have to kind of fan down this this uh, safety and while doing that while holding this really tight to your palm you flick the um, thumb stud and it opens up and I found that to be rather successful the only downside to that is that it gives you blisters on your fingers so um, with that being said I'm I'm actually liking this knife um, I'll go over a few things I like about the knife and I don't like about the knife um, the breaking in uh, thing I mentioned also earlier is that you have to use some oil now I use this gun oil because it has a very fine needle tip applicator and I found this to be really useful when it comes to knives since usually knives have really narrow spaces you need to get the oil into what I did was I um, when the knife was closed I applied a very small drop right here on the surface where it where it has to ride against the uh, against the locking bar in the back and I moved it a little bit so it established a small thin film of oil on on the moving parts after doing that I used a q-tip to wick up the excess oil and for for the most part it seems to have smoothed up the uh, the opening action quite a bit now on to things that I didn't really like about this knife um, one thing I didn't like too much is this safety now I like that it has a safety and the safety will keep the knife uh, both closed in the closed position and uh, when it's open you can push this forward and it'll keep it in, in the open position but what I don't like about it is the fact that it's not it's not a positively clicking safety as you can see it it there's a there's a bit of a friction that's supposed to hold it but it's not much and I would have liked it if they had done a bit of a, a detent that would help it click forward and back another thing I don't particularly like is the fact that you have to put that much pressure to get it to open up I mean it, it really is not easy on your hands uh, not to be crying around too much um, I did see a video of, of, a, of this knife done by, by a different gentleman um, I forget his name but he was saying that it is rough on the edges and I tend to agree this, this knife is not easy on the hands being that it's also metal handles I don't foresee it being much you know really comfortable in extreme con weather conditions now with all those things being said you would think that I don't like this knife but that's actually contrary because I do like this knife um, then the reasons for that are for one is really skinny uh, they said it on the box that it is as skinny as two quarters put together well I have two quarters here you can see it's kind of close it's a little thicker than two quarters negating the pocket clip 
I'd say it is skinnier than three quarters put together. So it is very, very skinny, very thin and lightweight. The build quality is very good. The locking of it is superb. There is absolutely no blade play that I can see or perceive. Uh, and this is saying a bit much since um, I did mention in the beginning of the video I was taking a bit of a gamble getting another SOG. I have the SOG Twitch 2. Now this has this the lock that has a good detent. But unfortunately this knife, when it is open, it has uh, some side-to-side -side blade, blade play. And I also had a knife. Uh, I had bought a SOG fielder that I shot a review for, but because it had so much blade play, I scrapped the entire review. I don't even think I have any footage of that, but if I do, I might show it. Let's see how it is with blade play. It shouldn't have any, really. Oh, surprise. It has just the slightest amount. Forward and back, side to side, a little bit. Um, I also like the fact that this knife has a deep carry pocket clip. When this knife is in your pocket, it the only the clip is visible and I like that. I like the retention of it. It's a very sturdy clip and is reversible. Um, overall I like this knife. If you if you have had this knife, let me know what you think of it. So far the the edge has been great. I've actually used this knife to uh, there was a uh, Southern California Edison transformer that the property owner had painted over with this battleship gray color and they had painted over the transformers nameplate and I used the edge of this thing to scrape off all of the excess paint to to be able to read the uh, the uh, energy information on it and the blade seemed to have not even flinched no rolling nothing it, it's it's a uh, it's a trooper except for the opening part <laughs> but other than that it's a great knife it's so great in fact that I'm actually considering getting the uh, SOG Slim Jim XL which is the larger version of this um, that one may have a bit more wow factor so I might not be able to EDC that one as easily as this so if you stuck around this much uh, I'd like to thank you. If you can, please leave a, leave a like on the video below. Leave a comment if you have any comments about this. Subscribe to see more videos like this. And uh, I will see you next time. Have a good day. I already have the um, Slim Jim XL size, you know, Slim Jim ready for the next review if I do get the larger Slim Jim knife. <laughs> So stay tuned, huh?